Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my creamy spinach and cheese chicken with bacon. It's super good. So let's get started. I have 10 ounces of spinach that I'll saute in my frying pan with one pad of butter. Now that my 10 ounces of spinach is wilted down, I'll turn my burner off and place my spinach in a bowl. This recipe is super good. I have one purple onion that I diced and I'll saute in my frying pan. I peeled and chopped four garlic cloves, so I'll saute the garlic cloves until they're nice and tender with the purple onion. Can't wait because this recipe is really good. Now I have one pound of bacon that I placed in my oven and cooked it till it was well done. Then I'll chop it up and add it into my purple onion and garlic and eight ounces of cream cheese. Along with my ten ounces of spinach. Mmm, does this bacon smell good? I can't wait. Now I place my purple onion, garlic, and spinach in a larger bowl. And then I'll throw my bacon in. I'll place my chopped bacon in and it's one pound of bacon that I cooked in the oven. So now we'll mix this all together. And this is what I'll stuff inside my chicken breast along with eight ounces of cream cheese that I have at room temperature. So now I'll open up the cream cheese. So now I place my eight ounces of cream cheese in my mixture and then I'll blend it all together. And this is what it looks like. So in my mixture I cooked 10 ounces of fresh spinach, one pound of the bacon that I cooked in my oven and sliced up, one purple onion that I diced, and four garlic cloves. And I have eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese that I mixed in here. And this is the mixture that I'll be putting inside my chicken breast. I have my oven on 350. I have three chicken breasts. I'll cut some of the fat off. little piece right here and that should do it. Now I'll make a slice on the side of my chicken breast. Make like a little pocket. I won't go all the way through. So just like that. And this is what I call my bacon spinach cheese chicken breast. I'll take some of the mixture, place it in, all this mixture is fully cooked so I'm just putting it in my 350 degree oven to cook the chicken. So you want to cook the chicken probably about an hour or until your chicken is fully cooked. So just keep an eye on it. So I'm just taking my spoon and pushing the mixture in. That's good. Let's see a piece of fat right here. I'll cut that. Yeah. 
Now I have my baking dish. I'll pick it up. Salt and pepper. And continue on with the rest. So now I'll cut the fat off of this chicken. Oh yeah. Really don't like all that. I'll cook that up and feed it for my dogs. They'll like it. So now I'm cutting a pocket in the chicken breast, not to go all the way through. That's perfect. Take my mixture. Push it in with my spoon. That's perfect. Place it in my casserole dish. And salt and pepper the chicken breast. Now for the last chicken breast. This one's a good one, no fat. So now cut a pocket. That's good. Stuff it in with my spoon. Place it in my casserole dish. I'll move this off to the side. Salt and pepper. I'll place some aluminum foil on top. Into the oven this goes. My oven set at 350 and you'll cook this chicken for about an hour or until your chicken is fully cooked. So into the oven it goes. Now I'll check on my chicken. It's looking good. Really smells good. So back into the oven it goes. Now I'll check on my chicken. Ooh, perfect. I'll take it out of the oven. I'll take the foil off. Look at how good this spinach chicken came out. This smells so good. Cut a piece of the chicken. The spinach, the onion, the bacon, and that cheese. So I'll give it a try. This is the perfect bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. The stuffing is nice and creamy. Mmm, this is really, really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Deserves a second bite.
Mm. Perfect, perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make this creamy, stuffed, cheesy, and bacon chicken. It's super good. Give it a try. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.